we're recording again so hello welcome back to the alexandrian codex i am alex this is hearts of iron 4 kaiser reich we are playing as the combined syndicates of america and the second american civil war has just sparked off so what am i gonna do well i'm gonna make an army i'm gonna put people on the front line i'm going to find a leader or two for this army so we have maurice ross who kind of sucks smedley butler uh is great. He wrote a book called War is a Racket, or a pamphlet called War is a Racket. Uh, in real history, I really like this guy. Uh, Joseph has this engineer skill, which is really good. Um, nobody has, like, a general skill, so I think we just do Smedley Butler. Since we have that set up, when this is done, you'll just auto-deploy to that front. I'm gonna take one all right let's see how many people this takes what i want to do is just walk along here and take all the major cities now new england almost always falls and gives itself to canada which is hilarious and kind of stupid but it's fine um it's hilarious in that you know we wouldn't think of Canada as having the power to annex American states, but in this timeline, it has all the mights of the British Empire behind it, so it can. And it will. Either the New England state will be set up as a protectorate, or it will be annexed fully. In whatever case, we'll eventually have to go to war to take it back. But in the meantime, we just have this dude running around. Let's say this is... Out of supply, no recon, no, nobody's gonna increase our speed, right? Maurice, yeah, let's give him Joseph. Ah, uh, no, Maurice, knock yourself out, my dude. So, alright. Smedley, I want you to move slowly. I want you to start out by just pushing here. Now, let's start with these troops here in Indiana. I want to not open up any front. I don't want any holes in our front. Sounds kind of odd, but let's rush through Kentucky. Should be able to take Kentucky, no problem. My dude, establish a front in Kentucky, grabbing these Columbus, Ohio people. Let's swoop in, take West Virginia, grabbing my Cleveland boys, Take the rest of West Virginia. Now, you don't need to take one state at a time, really. Wars in Hearts of Iron, if you're familiar, are typically solved through taking cities like this. And we will make no small effort to grab Washington, D.C., as it is, understandably, somewhat significant. Uh, let's send you south of D.C. If we can grab some of these cities, we'll get additional militias that pop up. That's why I'm rushing these down. Typically, I'd say it's not worth rushing them down to do it, but I'm gonna take things slow. I'm gonna rush a little bit. And the hope is that this rushing will pay off. If it doesn't, that's fine. It's whatever. I'm trying to bisect the United States by myself with the help of the oh my God, where you call it American Union state down here the United States will get bisected on its own which means any troops over here will be cut off from supply and will die very quickly but I'd rather be able to grab these territories and more importantly their factories for myself so that it's helping me and not our it's more an enemy here in the south get these four boys one, two. Now, admittedly, we are going to move kind of slow at first because I'm not telling these people to strategically redeploy. I'm just giving them very vague orders. Giving your people individual orders like this is not the <laughs> not the best way to play this game, frankly. Uh, the best way to play this game is to micro a little bit, but macro for the most part. Assign vague orders, but you don't necessarily need to 
have manual control over each and every little thing. I'm going to go take Norfolk, North, North Virginia, because this straight is really annoying to hold, because the AI is kind of dumb and bad when it comes to straights and setting up control of them. The, it's not the straightest. Not the most reliable. Okay, you're going to go there. That should be more than enough people I'm throwing into that proverbial fire. You're just going to run down there. You're not going to get there in time. You're going to run down there. You're not going to get there in time. And you're going to run down there. Again, not going to get there in time. But I assigned you all. I'll reassign you to the front once it looks like we're actually going to start running into people. But for now, manual orders. Manual orders everywhere. This one dude, this one division is going to go take all of New England because there should be no troops up there. I know the United States doesn't immediately have troops. So French volunteers and equipment arrive. We have... An international division we we'll just assign that to the front line so the AI can manage that so I know any troops that the AI have are from events and not from anything else commune of France is sending us four volunteers which is awesome the fall of Washington because we've taken this immediately syndicate militias have advanced towards and captured the symbolic capital of the United States Washington DC they stormed the Capitol building and met strong resistance, but eventually they broke through and the flag of the Combined Syndicates of America now flies over the U.S. Capitol. Rumors are that syndicate militias have been rounding up all political representatives that they could find in the city to give them trial. Although unconfirmed sources claim that the most important government figures have been evacuated during the battle with their current whereabouts unknown, the central government has been thrown off of its golden throne. I don't know if that event for the United States gives them negative stability, but I would hope so. The American Union state has declared war on us and on them. Oh, Russia has declared war on Awash Orta, which isn't relevant to us at all. Some of the elites and upper class of the Great Lakes have left their homes and took their families across the border to Royalist Canada. Um, we close our border with Canada. Or we lose manpower. Well, we lose manpower either way. USA immigrants or no USA immigrants. Yeah, you get no positive events from me. Baltimore captured. Either I destroy a factory in Maryland. Stupid. And get a thousand units of Garands. Which which would be nice if I weren't making well, 3.2 a day. That's almost a year's worth of M1 Garands. Uh, no, we don't steal from other Americas. Rise of CSA militias, we've taken Buffalo and New York, and we've gotten militias. We've taken Pennsylvania, and we've gotten militias. Part of the USA Navy, which is weird because they shouldn't have a navy, joins us. The Second American Civil War, we get claims on all of this stuff. We get 9,000 infantry equipment dealing with the AUS. Uh, well, they've declared war on us, so we declare war right back. English volunteers and equipment. That's why you rush major capitals. You rush major capitals because it gives you free troops. Uh, you go there. Hopefully. I'd rather not have that be cut off and dead immediately. You get lots of extra troops that way. No other problems on the rest of our front. Uh... Yeah, you all, some of you have orders to go further out, some of you don't. It's totally cool. We are getting rifles from Great Britain. That's great. Second American Revolution has been bypassed, so now we can take national ideas. Uh, do we go for Liberation Army, which gets us doctrines cheaper? This could us air bases. I'm not doing Army or Navy. Uh, or Syndicalism. How do I get more idea spots? Because that's... Hold on, what are our ideas? We have Rust Belt resources, which great. Revolutionary Army, our organization, planning speed are terrible, but we get a higher recruitable. Hmm, how do I fix that organization? That's in here, right? Yeah, we're gonna go down here and make our armies better. But this was important to establish supply, also to cut them off, but they're already cut off from more than one direction. Hello? Fix this front for me. Well, actually, that's gonna get fixed for you. Can you okay, go down there. Go, go take Virginia. Mexican volunteers and equipment arrive. Every, every side. 
Ugh, every site except for the US gets a lot of equipment and supplies, but we didn't get a notification about the PSA. Pacific States of America have split off, but they're not at war with the US, which is unfortunate. St. Louis is right for the taking. The city of St. Louis is still loyal to the old government of the United States, however tensions are brewing with the population reportedly being split evenly among loyalists, syndicalists, and firsters. The city is only weakly defended by police forces, though nearby reserve forces could be mobilized. A decisive strike could lead to some civilians rallying behind us. It would take place. It would place us in control of one of the most important railway hubs in North America. Uh, hell yeah, send an expedition. Louisville captured. We don't steal from other Americans. Second American Civil War. To uneducated foreigners, it might seem like the crisis in the United States happened out of nowhere. But experts agree that this was a civil war years in the making. Ever since the collapse of the New York Stock Exchange in 1925, the economy of the United States has been in a constant downturn. Now, the United States has devolved into a three-way civil war between the loyalists of the old government, the syndicalist combined states of America, and the conservative and xenophobic American Union state. There have already been reports of arriving volunteers from Europe to fight for the faction of their liking. The Second American Civil War might just be the first of the many battlefields between the great powers of the world in this tough time for humanity. We got extra volunteers from Mexico, which is dope. Uh, we are going for St. Louis, are we not? You go make sure we hold St. Louis. I sent militias, but I want to make sure we actually take it. Yeah, that's why I wanted to make sure we actually take it. Hey, you, go St. Louis. You, uh... You're gonna surround it, it's fine. American... The People's Liberation Army. So we got the PLA. It's time to build an army of the people. We need a military of the people and for the people to liberate the people from the shackles of wage slavery. And if only. Okay, so support the militias. We've de decided to favor the militias in the conflicts over the due to the nature, uh, over the nature of the army. Over the nature? Okay, whatever. Nurture? The, what, what, whatever. We do not need the formalized army structure of the tyrants. We're fighting for a better world, and we have brought the might and moral of the people are on our side. Break the chains. So, defense attack and defense on core territory goes up significantly. But, um, well-regulated army is what I'm going for. To win the war, we need discipline, and that requires an army, not a ragtag bunch of militias. Capitalism can only be defeated by the iron discipline of labor. We have airplanes? We have airplanes. We have airplanes, okay. Um, merge you together. Close air support in the Midwest. Where are my other airplanes? Oh, in New York City. Okay, um, I just group you together for simplicity's sake. Move you out to here. There's superiority in the Midwest. And I know that's gonna overtax this, but it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, go take that, even up that front. You push this front down to here, you push that front down to there, you push this front down to there, you here, you keep going, you here. We go grab that. You're all taking care of that. Dope. Now I do have... I have Smedley here. I think it's slow. I don't want him moving too quickly. I don't want us getting overextended. If we get overextended, I want it to be my doing, not the AI's doing. So I could rush for that. I'm not going to. I'd like this to go down here. Maybe provide some support there. You're fine. You're moving, you're moving. Who else is defending on this line? You're defending on this line. You're going down there. So we're extending our line a little bit. Oh no, you're surrounding this, so that dies immediately. Yeah, do that. Second International Congress. Our British comrades have confirmed their readiness to host the Second International Congress in London. It's time for the CS to confirm its participation. Not CSA, just CS. Okay, for sure. Yeah, we're attending. Otherwise, it fucking destroy our economy. Attend or riot. Yeah. Battle of Union Station. After several chaotic hours, it's now clear that the armed St. Louis citizens in support of our government has secured St. Louis Station. How they though? Oh, St. Louis Station. 
They have hoisted our banner over the burn railway carriages and are currently patrolling the streets, waiting for reinforcements. The enemy has been pushed out of the city, have they, though? But it's still looking, holding onto some suburbs. Okay, good enough. Uh, rise of the CSA militias. Workers in many Minneapolis have risen up. Yeah, so this is, this is going to be a bit awkward. That's why I was sending people in with such an emphasis to take it. But it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, both of you are assigned to this. You are assigned to this. Welcome to the fold, my dude. Uh, if you could rush down and grab that, that'd be sweet. You probably can't because they, unlike us, have no discipline problems. We are going to build more battleships. Put them in New York City. I don't care what our fleet looks like. I'm not using it. This is falling nice and quick. You just step on through there. Clean up that front a little bit. You, my dude, if you could power on through there, which you probably can't, I'd like you to. Uh, you go here. So this front gets very big very fast and is scary. Very, very scary when you don't have a lot of troops yet, and we don't have that many yet. How many do I have in the field? I have it in the field almost as much as I have in free manpower, so I'd only like to do this once. I like to be able to reinforce, and it's eh, not looking like we can very much, which is okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> Maurice is still going on their brave, brave mission. There we go, that's cut off, so if this dies, that'll be very nice. You push against that, you push against that. They're already isolated, it'll be fine. You go push down here, you keep doing this stupid shit, yeah. Um, you are not pushing against that because you can't take it, you're... I don't like this. I don't really like that at all. Where are you moving? You're moving right there. Yeah, you need to be here to maintain the front. You move down here, you can cut right on through there, my dear boy -o. Uh, you can walk on in there. Let's let the AI manage everything else. But I want I want you down here. Uh, whatever. It'll happen. We've taken DC, all these troops are removing. This front will be gone soon. Resistance occupation in Maryland. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. We have a core there. Occupation. You can't occupy something that's yours. It's just resistance to revolution, maybe. You're being very brave here. Why are you being so brave? Oh, Kansas City. Yeah. Instead, what if you were just assigned to order? Like to hold on to Kansas City or not die? The 197 Spartakide? The first Spartakide's opening ceremony was in Carlisle and attended by dignitaries and athletes from around the socialist world. The British team carried the torch, French team the hammer, and other teams carried pieces of the cog to the location where they were to be assembled. When placed together, they formed the international symbol of syndicalism. A glorious day for the working man. How are we gonna do in these totally not Olympics? We'll find out. <laughs> I'm kinda happy that we were able to push down here, but I'm not sure we'll be able to hold that again. We're not moving very aggressively on purpose. Very on purpose. Once these new troops are ready, and once we start getting all these volunteers in, then I'll be more ready to raise a little hell, but in the meantime, I want things to be going nice and slow and easy. So you're free. Why don't we do that? We sweep up in there. Taking provinces up here really won't do much for us, but every little bit counts. Every little count bits. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid joke. All right, let's speed this up a bit. Uh, how's Air Superior looking? Yeah, definitely have the Midwest. Southeast, we're having problems. We're going to have problems. The uh, AUS is pretty potent. The United States is also potent and isn't fighting a multi-front war right now. It's all this one front. I'm just trying to push them back so we have a consistent front. I could maybe focus on this, but I am kind of happy just to push wherever we can. Alright, well, we got a few medals, but we didn't win. That's okay. No political power, but that's fine. You're moving into St. Louis. Great, you're moving into here. Awesome. Second International, first Syndicalist International. 
Held in Paris dealt with spreading the ideology overseas, supporting the syndicalist movements, and strengthening the ties between syndicalist nations. And thanks to the gathering success, the second international has been called to be held on Monday. Representatives from the entire world were greeted by British artillery salute, Scottish bagpipe chorus, overall well rece warm reception. As Europe rolls closer and closer to war, military and economic cooperation between syndicalists is expected to be the primary topic of discussion. Yeah, support me though. I don't I don't care about anyone else. Send send me more support. <laughs> what what about me? Day three, Hemingway's speech. With the American question settled, Ernest Hemingway, the syndicalist delegate to, con de delegate to the Congress, took the stage. He thanked all those who supported the CSA's cause and called on the socialist world to constantly battle the reactionaries. The speech was received with great applause and especially by the French delegation. Yeah, that gives me military power, which uh, knocks us over 100, which means I can upgrade something. Either mobilization, which would be helpful, where I can get military staff at 150, and I think, uh, just for the organization bonus, it might be better to do that, but, uh, mobilization. We make more guns, we can make more troops. More guns, more troops, more winning. That's, that's how that works, right? German volunteer divisions, headed by the writer Bertolt Brecht and other figures of German syndicalist scene, have arrived to support us in our struggle. We get 10,000 manpower, we get... Two more militia units. Fantastic. Republic of Korea has declared war on Japan. I. This needs a rework, and it's getting a rework. They rebel so often, they never, ever succeed. They, they're they screwed from the get-go. Too bad it ended. Mexican help arrives. More Mexican militias, more volunteers from other Sedequa states. We, for the first part of the war, do get a flood of reinforcements. The, did you not guarantee New England? What's happening here? Why am I able to take all of New England? I'm not complaining. This is great if I get all of New England. There's a lot of factories up there. It's just weird. Uh, with the important decisions made during the first week, Congress had moved to less pressing matters. After 10 days of negotiation, discussion, and politicking, delegates came up with a final act, a declaration of eternal brotherhood and readiness to face imperialists wherever they are to be found. But power and friendship, which doesn't mean much in terms of game mechanics. There's more comrades from Britain. I get a factory in Indiana. I get... more airplanes. I'm okay with those. Now, we are kind of... We're, this this is too big. Let's... That reinforcement... I want this to be a 500 stack, just so this isn't overtaxed. And 500 is plenty of planes anyway. Really, you want to typically have them in stacks of, like, 100. That'll be fine. What's... What's your industry looking like? You have one military factory. I have three. You have two. God, we really are such a powerful <laughs> economic powerhouse. One, three, two. So if we figure out these borders and solidify these borders, they should be pretty stable, is, is what I'm getting from this. Okay, we're not training anyone. People's Liberation Army. Uh, that's fine. Infantry Division I like more, but I can't use right now. That Infantry Division I like less. CSA Militia... Fuck, I can't repair that. Militias are just cheap and easy to train. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Nope. Why do I have three copies of the same thing? Okay, St. Louis militia are bigger than National Guard. I I kind of like that, and I kind of want to convert everything I have to St. Louis militia. German militia. All right, CSA militia. Hmm. So, St. Louis motion. Gonna require a lot of men, a lot of time, that's fine. PLA, no, get out of here. Infantry division, eventually, yeah. Uh, this is exactly what I want, but not for now. We're down to CSA militia because this man, not a St. Louis militia. AQ, St. Louis militia, cool, we can finally clear this up. Nice, okay. So, we're not building, we're not recruiting any because we need to build a little bit here 
And once reinforcements are full, I'll think about building more militias or upgrading our armies more when the two. We have 80, what do I want? Uh, 96, I think. 96 is divisible by 24, is that correct? 96 divided by 24 is 7, right? 4. Yeah, 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 it's 7. Jesus, this guy can't do math. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want 16 more of these so that I can then break our militia into, or our, our, our army into four equal parts of 24, which is how much a general can support. Spanish Civil War is going off. It's a three-way civil war. Take that original timeline. Even harder civil war. We're getting rifles from you, which is dope. Uh, let's get rid of that. You want a real offensive line? I will give you an offensive line. I want you to push. No, no, but like, yeah, there we go. Push all of this. All of this. There. That's what I want from you. Now you're planning, you will get a planning bonus. I don't care about the planning bonus. We get a malice to our planning bonus anyway. Balance manner so people will attack more. Before we were only really attacking on this front, we were just getting attacked over here, so hit back. We won't be hitting back super hard, but hit back. Hit back. We are pushing them back at a couple of areas. That's why we're researching better regulated armies, so our army isn't duty anymore. Uh, well regulated army great integrate the militias we get recruitable population that might be nice it's not immediately useful this is better better planning speed better attack lower supply consumption better organization that's amazing there are other things we could be focusing on but making our armies better when we're in a civil war seems like undeniably the best call what are we doing? Just generally. We've lost... Uh, our win ratio is like 33%. Not great. Not great. Maybe slow things down a little. Maybe just completely stop. Stopping won't stop them from defending, but allow them to reorganize and start planning. I... I... How long do you still have to plan? Quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> Risky plan. You're not wrong. Inferior enemy is slowly increasing. Like, rapidly increasing. Uh, still planning. River crossings. All that jazz. Now, the AI doesn't always do well with a front this big, but that's okay. Here, we just took New England. And I'm... Confused. I'm confused because normally Canada steals New England. Taking New England has given us factories. Not that many factories, but a few factories. Uh, and that is noteworthy. That's a very big boom. It doesn't seem like it, but that is a huge fucking boom. Oh. Oh, those are my convoys. Okay, maybe I should get them all. Uh, the superior tactician, air controller. Well, air controller doesn't do much for us. Sea Wolf, we have submarines, so you'd be okay. Yeah, just, just escort convoys off of our coast. This, if you ever get done in eight months. Okay, that's not that bad. Stick on that fleet. We should be winning this. Well, I mean, they're a spotter and a superior tactician. I'd give them better odds on winning this. Plus two cruisers. Uh, I think we're getting our ass kicked here. We have four battleships, but we're still retreating. Okay, fair enough. That went horribly. Yeah, not well. Radio support weapons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we kind of need these. That's why I was okay with starting to research that one way ahead of time, because it seems like we'll need the boon. Right, are you still preparing? Vision's still preparing. Who? My god. But, uh, our win percentage is up to 40. 
no, uh, last 69, 53. Yeah, so it's been going up as we've been waiting and sitting. So yeah, this is fine. If we can hold them and make them suffer more than we are, they can get wrapped up down here. And we have the... Do, 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 do. Oh, you didn't go to war with France over that. Okay, cool. Which means we get to keep the French volunteers. No early war with Germany is good for me. Volunteers are very good for me. This has gone remarkably well. Syndicalism spreads to Burma. We've got New England and New York, which is incredibly uncommon. I am confusing, but welcome. Very welcome. Integrate the militias. Better militias. All right, War is a Racket. This is the book by Smedley Butler. War is a Racket. It always has been. We say no to that. War has been fought for the greed of capitalists throughout history, but not in the new revolutionary army. Here, we fight for the people. To this end, our new army shall be organized to protect the lives of our sh so shoulders. soldiers. We shall instead destroy capitalism with overwhelming firepower. Bullets are cheap. Lives are not. Or centralized high command, which... I don't care for, I like superior firepower. Do I get any further bonuses for people? Uh, recon, leader experience gain, that's nice, but I'd rather pivot over to horse syndicalism, I think, to start thinking about other bonuses. Yeah, we're gonna have to restructure America at some point. We're not there yet, so let's do this. And those, uh... 50% off bonuses for superior firepower doctrine, they'll come in handy later. They're helpful now, they'll be helpful later. Fourth Balkan War has fired off. Are you still preparing? My god. Well... Uh, okay, now I can go full mobilization. I, let's wait until I hit 200 so I can get war mobilization. I probably should have just done that in the first place, but... Eh. Caution carried me. It'll be about two months until we can pick that up. More rifles. More rifles! Uh, how about how about less rifles? No, more. More rifles, yeah. This got its ass kicked pretty hardcore. Um, that's fair. Shameful display, but fair. More volunteers. Uh, the leader of the Bariatra Commune's faction of moderates and its recently elected head of state gave a fiery speech to an electrified crowd in Calcutta, promising would ensure da 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 da. So it's a revolutionary. Okay. Oh, just new leader. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not that interesting. I'm very tempted to take chief of staff or add. We don't have an infantry guy? Wow. That's... <laughs> surprising and disappointing. I'm tempted to take something from Chief of Staff or Chief of Army, just to make our armies fight just that teeny tiny bit better. But I don't think we're really needing it, right? We're holding the line fine. These two are wasting their energy against each other. I'm plotting my inevitable victory. I'm gonna wait until this is up at 94? 96. I said 96. Yeah. Don't know. Oh, because we've been getting reinforcements, right? 96. If I can't build that, that's fine. Once everything is built, we'll talk about potentially mobilizing them into actual army divisions rather than just militia division. Oof. Who's in a lot of convoys? How am I doing on convoys? 29. Wow, we, we need more. Okay. Let's switch this up for convoys for time. I'd love to be able to... Not need convoys, but we need convoys to get the arms from overseas. Otherwise, what's the point of having allies? Well, friends. Not allies. Mm, we could research this way ahead of time. I don't think it's worth it to do that at all. Uh, engineering, you're good. Let's get into construction. Or syndicalism, awesome. So, nationalism, 
In order to effectively carry out the revolution, we shall continue with the nationalization project. All industry shall be nationalized by the government and giving workers means of production. Okay, or entice the bourgeoisie. Uh, the reactionaries are coming after us. A number of businesses are wishing to support us. It might be good to work with them. While it's not as revolutionary, we can make them work for the people. By turning even the businesses revolutionary, we can destroy the reactionaries and win our revolution. So this gives military factories, this gives civilian factories, this gives civilian factories. I like this a lot more. Um, let's look at the bonuses it gives at the end. Production efficiency, consumer good reduction, uh, production efficiency, military factory, supply consumption reduction. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, consumer good reduction. So this has a total of minus 10 consumer goods. 15, 20. Holy shit, this is amazing. Uh, unionists take over. Nah, nah. This is the best tree by far. Consumer goods. We don't have many. And with minus 15, we would be 3% consumer goods. That's fucking crazy. Um, consumer goods take factories away that you might otherwise use to build to give supplies to your populace, to build things that your people need. It's a loose approximation of that. So this knocks the base down to 15. We might actually get into negative consumer. We're definitely going to get into negative consumer goods. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, how are you doing? You're still preparing, but you're feeling optimistic. So I'm going to let you start moving. We're doing so cautiously. And cautiously, we shall succeed. Got another text, so I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I'm going to start on this, even though it's way ahead of time. It'll take a year to finish. We'll get it right at the end of 38. Better to have it than not have it. How are we doing on convoys? We're doing okay. They're getting attacked, but... Well, what, what do you expect? We're succeeding much better in the Midwest, and we will continue to, because we have air support there. Air support makes a hell of a big difference in this game. But I'd rather focus on taking out the United States than the American Union state just because it's more land and then we'll be able to consolidate all of our forces in a smaller area rather than trying to force this small push with less troops. Particularly because it looks like some awkward shit is happening in here. I'll just take it as it comes. Yeah, moving on up there. You are gonna go there. You are gonna go there. Cut them off in Virginia. It's very cool. Normally, I have them take all of Virginia and we get in an annoying, very annoying standoff across this street or this street. I'm so glad that that's not an issue right now. So, manage occupied territories. Yeah, uh, resistance growth minus 60%? What? Why are you. What gives? Yeah, why though? Uh, resistance daily growth capped out at 100% from suppression. Resistance in neighboring states. Are you... Alright, Maryland. Hmm. Are you getting any? No, New Jersey's mine, so none of these are getting any. Really just the occupied states to the south are getting it? Norfolk, resistance in neighboring states is raising it. Okay, huh. Hmm. It might have just been that we took these before we got cores on them, so resistance started growing on its own, and then resistance was growing, which made resistance grow, etc, etc, etc. Working women. Okay, that's cool. Wartime economy. Uh, wow. Okay. Cool. These are all great ideas. Jesus Christ. No, the land lease. But my dude. Give it. Return the land lease. M damn. All right. Well, we we're getting to the point where we don't really need them all that much. We're oh, we're stockpiling guns. Yeah, we don't need them at all. Uh, we can think about what it would be like to upgrade. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. This to all infantry. And that's just going to be a loose number I'm going to hold in my head. All 96 people are done. Divisions are done. So to upgrade this, it would cost... 43,000 infantry equipment. Now, I can do one at a time, and I may. Piecemeal. But uh, 43,000 divided by 6, so that's 
put like 5,000 infantry equipment per division. Yeah, we don't steal from other Americans. Midwest militias rally. Okay. Well, that gets us off of our pretty number of 96, but that's okay. St. Louis militia is what everything should be. I'm tired of this CSA militia crap. We, we are organized here, damn it. This is going alright. There's a lot of mountains in here. Appalachia is kind of hard to cross. There are rivers. This is Mississippi? Yeah, it's a confluence of the Mississippi that's causing this problem over here. This is the main Mississippi. I forget what this is. But this is going fine. If we look at last 12 months, we've been winning 74%. And month by month, that's been getting higher. Last month, we won 90%. So it's a one war at this point. If nothing changes, even with the slow, slow pushing that we're doing, we're still winning. Great. Send a quest terror. War is war. During the ongoing civil war, some of our commanders started to use their rather doubtful methods to permanently suppress civilian populations suspected permanently suppressed. That's an interesting way to say it. Helping our mortal enemies. Such policies, even if they seem drastic, are necessary in these dark times. Nah, not, they aren't though. We're winning without them. Don't need to permanently suppress a population. The nice way of saying murder. Permanent suppression. Hmm. Okie okay, doke. I'd really like some more staff. Foster, I like. Ralph Chaplin, I love because of this bug. Ralph's just like hanging up hanging out in the left hand corner here um i don't love him paul's great jesus uh and arturo arturo's fine i will probably want to replace some of them eventually but not, not right now oh we need military build up to keep going fine but consumer goods is down to two jack reed's illness the physical health of the head of the central committee jack reed has been deteriorating for a while now to the point that a public announcement has been made concerning it, as it can no longer be concealed. The exact cause of his illness is currently unknown, but the wasting effects of it are shortening his life. While his passion for the revolution remains untempered, his ability to weed it may not last much longer. Dreadful. Just dreadful. Oh, hey, more, more air missions. Nope, just reinforcements. That's totally fine. Uh, Midwest is where you're at, right? And we pretty much have the Midwest. So let's divert you. Can I get you closer to the front? Fuck yeah, I can. Let's focus you on the Southwest. This is winning, and it's just winning and winning and winning. We're seeing some losses down here in the Southeast. Seeing some in the Southwest, but let's focus on the Southeast so we can swoop around and shorten this front. So we have more troops in West Provinces and have more pushing power. Should be able to push through Montana. Uh, uh, oh my god, Wisconsin? Wyoming. <laughs> Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. Wisconsin, Wyoming, potato, potato. The square states are so hard to remember what they are sometimes. We're getting damn close to Colorado. Yeah, so this front's going totally fine. Uh, with the new air support down here, this looks like it's going much better. Well, it, much is strong. Looks like it's going. Yeah, all right, this war will be over for far too long. So once we take both of these, and I have to retake this, normally, normally, wow, it has been one year. We are one year into the war right now. And this is the progress that we've made. Pretty good. Uh, normally, all of this would be under control of Canada, but it's not. They didn't even take Alaska. What the fuck? Did you take Panama Canal? They didn't take anything. They didn't take Puerto Rico. They didn't take anything. Oh, uh, Hawaii seceded, right? Yeah, okay, well, Hawaii seceded. So we'll have to retake the Pacific States. We'll have to go on down Hawaii. But um, this should be very, very easy to retake the continental U.S. After that, we'll have to rebuild. And then we can start thinking about spreading our ideology north towards these monarchists. Maybe... Uh, incorporating the United Mexican States into the greater United States of North America and moving on down. Could also go fight in the 
almost inevitable Second Weltkrieg over here, Second World War. The fall of Denver. Syndicate militias have been fighting sparse skirmishes with the federal government across the Great Plains. Today, their efforts culminated as they finally descended on the city of Denver. After a large-scale assault across the South Platte Valley, Denver being the capital of Colorado and the main federal stronghold in the Great Plains. The fall of the Queen City of the Plains indeed seems to be a major upset for the future of the United States, and as fighting dies down in the South Platte Valley, many experts agree that the federal government is now almost certain to capitulate to the syndicate. Fuck yeah! Alright, we got delay, give me mobile defense. Fall, oh, I dare you. Now we only have 2.8k of this sword up, we're, what, 1 20th of the way to what we need? Uh, what's in Georgism? What the hell is Georgism? Yep, Georgism! Alright, let's embrace Georgism. As we bring the revolution forward, we should embrace Georgism to Tim, and Atlanta fell within the month. To handle land reform throughout our country, this will help with reforming the agriculture as people will be able to own their own part of the production of the land while contributing to society as a whole. The fall of Atlanta, syndicate militias have been pushing towards the American Union state's temporary capital, airplane sounds, of Atlanta for a while now. Reports are coming in of the city's imminent capture by advancing militias. Huey Long's current whereabouts are unknown, but it's believed he was rapidly evacuated to the countryside. Disturbing news reports that the Union representatives and Minutemen are being lynched by mobs in the street and that the city has been thoroughly sacked with fires spreading through downtown areas. Is this the end of the reactionary uprising in America? Yes. Yes, it is. And I'm amazed that we're doing this well. Atlanta captured Flash and Burn. Gives me infantry equipment, destroys my political power. A little vengeance helps with morale. Or no, no, we're not going to do that because it's a factory and I want the factory. We don't steal from other Americans. We don't steal from other Americans. We give to other Americans. We get a... How to help people out, my dude. Otherwise, what's the point of our ideology? Democracy? No. No. Maybe a little bit. Uh, resource gather efficiency. How are we doing on resources now? I haven't looked at this in a while. We're doing great. So that's not totally necessary. Oh, hey. We can make more guns. That sounds skippy. Um, alright. So we're building convoys, but we're not doing anything with the convoys we're building. So I'm going to go back to building battleships, convoys on the back end. Uh, bah, 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 bah. This is upgrading. Let's start going towards artillery. I'm not building it yet, but I will want it. And a lot of it at that. So it's better to get that up to date than rather rather than having a backlog. This is going to get cleared out, no problem. Ottoman Empire is declared. We're on Kurdistan. And Tripolitana, apparently? You've joined the Kurds. Huh, alright. Uh, the Kurdish Uprising. Since the end of the Valkyrie and Arab Revolt, the Ottomans, yet yeah, basically the Ottomans, just start losing everything. The Kurds revolt, the Arabs revolt, everyone revolts, and eventually it will become Turkey if it doesn't get its act together. No! Our, our good, our good, uh, syndicalist friends in Spain have fallen to this well mustachioed man, Alfonso XIII. This is an excellent mustache. That is not super villain level, but approaching super villain level. Let's move into here. Um... Okay, that's a bad end. Gotcha, gotcha. Nationalist victory in South Africa. Though they had an election, nationalists have taken over. We're happy to be independent. I think they're going to have a civil war. Or at least they typically have a civil war. Russian Empire is declaring war on Azerbaijan. They're expanding. The world is increasingly going to war. I love this win ratio. This is why sometimes when you go to war, it's okay just to like... 
get your front, settle down on that front, let your troops organize, make a plan, then execute that plan. You don't have to go to breakneck pace. It'd be fun to, but you don't have to. <laughs> Even less. So this idea will knock us into negative consumer goods. I don't think negative consumer goods gives you factories. If it does, this will be stupid and hilarious. I'm pretty sure it just eliminates the need for consumer goods altogether, which is great. And I'll be real with you. I'm gonna tell you to manually push this. I know the AI just wants to wait until you've run out of supplies to make any such move, but that is incredibly boring. I'd much rather you just go in on this shit and do it. Because look how quickly that went. But that's gonna fall. All 11 of these will redeploy to this front line. I, again, the American Union state, I think, will be the one to hold out the longest. Just because they have some very rough terrain in here, lots of forests, lots of rivers. The mountains are over, though, so maybe not. Taking New Orleans can be a real pain because it's marsh. You took the Philippines, yep. So we might want to get revenge for our old friends. Oh, alliance with Hawaii. Well, if that happens, then we're eventually going to war with Japan, and alternate history will mirror real history. You son of a bitch. Yeah, they joined. Yeah. Uh, that's not surprising, but I'm still disappointed. Volunteer only. Let's go to limited conscription. We didn't really need to do that, but I would want that law eventually anyway, so might as well do that. Anything else? Extensive conscription I'm fine with, because we're not going to be training too many more divisions from here on out. We have a more than sufficient amount. Well, I say that. Ah, uh, how are we doing? How are we doing on supplies? Here? 9k. I, I can... No, no, let's not do it. I need to outfit the people we already have. I might even get rid of a couple divisions to clean things up a bit. This I would like, so American syndicalism, industrial democracy, land of democracy. However, for far too long, democracy has only existed at ballot booths. So it's high time we bring that democracy into the workplace. This will help make the economy equitable and fair to all workers throughout the country. American syndicalism, America is a land of entrepreneurs and businesses. However, for too long... <laughs> For too long. Wrong too. For too long, this has been harmful to the American workers. For every Rockefeller that's been made in America, millions were crushed. God damn, ain't that the truth? However, we can turn this entrepreneurial spirit for the revolutionary revolution and bring about syndicalism, but with American characteristics. What American characteristics are those exactly? I like how intentionally vague and coy this is. Advanced machine tools. Uh, we are up to date. Resource gain, do I really need this? Well, we can export some of those resources, so it might be nice. We're already getting that. Should keep our fighters and bombers up on time, though. Should maybe consider researching better battleships. Dallas captured, we don't steal from other Americans. We've taken the heart of Texas. You know, people from Houston and San Antonio might disagree, but we've taken the heart out of Texas. This is going to fall very quickly, depending on where their new capital is. Ooh, we have a new capital. It's down here. Where the fuck is your new capital? Brazil is having a bit of a civil war. Our ideology has grown. Hell yeah, it has. We're already high popularity, but we can get up to very high popularity, and that would be sweet. Man, it'd be cool if I could win this in the next five minutes, and I could probably push for it in the next five minutes. I'm not going to end streaming today in the next five minutes. I'm just going to wrap up the uh, episode in the next five minutes. Tell you what, how many more times can I say in the next five minutes? In the next five minutes? Cool. Um, here. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. I know we're outnumbered and outgunned, and making these pushes might not be the best idea, but away we go! Um, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. Hello, my dude. Go there. You go there. 
cut them off there, you're gonna go on down there. Why am I doing that? So you can go there. So you can go there. So you can go there. You're gonna go in there. You're gonna shift click to go in there. Because the front has been split, the order to keep advancing has disappeared from this front. This is a pretty common problem with the AI. It's fine, I can make this work, it's fine. Alright, um, we need you to go down there. That's really the only thing I need from over here. What I need from over here is Houston. How can we make this happen? Just march into Houston, my boy. March into Houston. Anybody else defending over here? You, uh, pushing right where you are, you find your way to Santa Fe. This is Santa Fe, right? No, Phoenix! Santa Fe's! Captured? It's in here. Santa Fe apparently isn't as significant as Phoenix. I don't know, man. It's, Phoenix is kind of a burning hellhole. But by god, we must take that burning hellhole. I lived in Arizona for a short while. I would not go back. The heat's bad. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Especially up in the mountains, the air is so queer, but... Nah. nah, that heat ain't worth it. I like the desert. Really my problem with Arizona more than anything else is the politics, as you might imagine. Ah, I'd happily live in New Mexico out in the middle of the desert. Being a desert hermit appeals to me greatly. But I also live in one of the rainiest cities in the United States, so I'm, I'm happy with all sorts of weather. All right, you go take I don't know what this is called. I want to call it the Horn of Texas, though. Take you just End this. Finish him! Two minutes to finish the United States. The CSA is going to hang on for quite a bit longer because they're like... Well, they're malignant like that. Um, I just have you march around the southern border. That's cool. Have you go to Phoenix, it's rad, and then you do whatever. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna take Phoenix anyway. Houston is on its way to falling. American syndicalism has completed. Now we move on to market socialist economy. We have transformed our economy from a capitalistic economy and. From a capitalistic, okay, whatever. And replace it with a market socialist economy ruled over by the people. The entrepreneurial spirit of America combined with the revolutionary ideals shall bring America into a new age. Wait a minute. Oh, and there it goes. Yes, I'll just take all of this. Thank you, yes. Excellent. Now let's... God, this front is ugly. Can I wrap this up? I might be able to wrap this up. Have you move on Nolens down there? We don't need to... Oh, well, yeah. There we go. Go take Miami. That, that is... Miami. Yeah. Take Miami. Miami. Oh, we're moving on Mobile already. You move on Mobile. You move on Nolens. You... Here, the front in front of New Orleans. You, we're out in front of New Orleans. If you're sensing a theme here, you're not wrong. I oh, got a minute to do this. Got a minute to do this. Aggressively, <laughs> aggressively pursue this plan. If you would be so kind. Would you kind? Of? All right, this isn't going as well as I thought it would, but I think these are all cut off. God damn it, the Great New England Hurricane. What? Nah, we couldn't have gotten this any sooner or any later. Yeah, help the survivors. Fuck. Consumer goods gain. Uh, division recovery speed. Steve Nelson, Oliver Law. Whose name do I like more? Steve. You my boy, Steve. I don't know why you my boy, but you my boy. I'm willing to wiggle on this a little bit. Looks like we're doing okay in New Orleans. We might take this, though that battle's gonna take forever because it's a marsh and a city. Miami has fallen. That has fallen. New Orleans is all that's left. 
to take New Orleans. This ends the Second American Civil War in just under two years. Take all states and go. I'm like, I can't do it. Turns out I didn't even need the five minutes. This is right on the five hour mark. So, hey, there we go. If you were watching on YouTube, this ends the end of today's episode. If you're watching on Twitch, don't worry. I'll still be here. I ain't going anywhere, baby. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, and do all that nonsense. Or just wait until tomorrow and you'll get more of it either way. Till then, toodaloo, YouTube.